Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it is that time of the week again. Time to do some grocery shopping. So James and I, of course, we had to go to Whole Foods because that's our absolute favorite place to shop for food. So today I am going to just be sharing with you guys what we picked up and we found some really new healthy choices there. So we're always finding new things. And I'll also be showing you guys things that we keep buying over and over because we're that obsessed with it. If you're somebody who's looking to get back on track the new year, or you just wanna start eating better, or you're working out and you wanna just nourish your body properly the right way, then this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get into this haul. This is the haul, this is the haul we got back here. You see this? Oh my God. Woo, so as you can see, we got quite the spread going on. Oh my goodness. I mean, you even got the Whole Foods bag just chilling in the sink right now. Okay guys, let's start this haul. So I'm just gonna randomly pick something up and talk about it. Here we go. Yes. So guys, um, I feel like drinkable yogurts are becoming the next big thing, I don't know. I've just been hearing about them all over and it's from the brand Siggy's and it's raspberry flavor. They have different flavors, 0% milk fat, so this one's extremely lean and there's eight grams of protein in this bad boy for just one cup. So this is a nice little healthy snack and especially if you don't feel like necessarily plopping yogurt into a bowl and all that jazz, this you just kind of Gulp, 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 drink it, or you can blend it in with a smoothie or add more protein, whatever you want to do. But it's really great for you, and it's got the live cultures, the good bacteria that your body needs. It does have high sugar, but it's all natural from the raspberries. There's no high fructose corn syrup, there's no aspartame, no sucralose, nothing, no added sugar. And along the lines of that, I did get low fat cottage cheese. Um, for those of you working out and you want to eat some protein, you need to up your protein game like myself because I noticed I was not eating nearly enough protein that I needed for the kind of weight that I was doing. You need your protein. So um, cottage cheese will do that for you. But So yeah, I plan to eat this before bed because I don't know, I always seem to get hungry the second I lay down. Don't know why. But yeah, I need to eat something and I don't want to pick on anything that's just going to pack on calories overnight when I'm just going to be sleeping. So this is just straight protein and it's low in calories. So it's really nice right before bed or throughout the day, you could snack on this. It tastes, cottage cheese tastes really good with pineapple. So I'm gonna try that too. Guys, you've probably seen this in my healthy alternatives video, but yeah, I picked up more of these. In fact, I picked up three of these babies. So I'm pretty stocked up right now. I use this all the time. I mean, I use this in my protein shake. If I eat cereal, I use it in my oatmeal. I mean, I don't know, I just, drink this all the time. So yeah, protein nut milk, for those of you who didn't see the healthy alternatives video, um, 10 grams of protein in one cup of this bad boy. So a lot of almond milks um, and dairy-free milks, they don't, they don't have any protein in it. They have like one gram or less. And I don't know if I'm gonna drink it, I better get some protein. The next thing I just randomly saw this and I looked at the ingredients and I was like sold. Um, brown rice crackers. I love a nice crunch. I do. I don't know. I like to crunch on things at night. I like to snack on things. I want to make sure that I am eating enough carbs because if you do lift weights, you really should be not afraid of carbs. Um, but eat healthier carbs, brown rice, very nice complex carbs. I looked into this one and there's literally nothing but whole grain brown rice, a little bit of salt, rosemary, natural. Yes. Yeah, so, so James and I got some tomatoes and what we've been doing lately um, is making our own bruschetta or you can make pico, whatever you want with that. Add a little jalapeno, onion, cilantro, and you got yourself a nice healthy dip with these crackers. This, this could even be like a post workout snack. I could dip it in some natural peanut butter. I got two of these. So yeah. So James and I have been craving soup lately because it's extremely cold where we live. So every time we're out and about, we're always just like, I just wanna go home and have a nice hot cup of soup, but we don't have any soups. So we actually bought some ingredients to make homemade soup. A lot of the soups, even at Whole Foods, are not the best. They are packed with sodium. They're packed with 
all sorts of things. So um, we're just gonna make our own. And we got some green lentils. Again, protein and iron. If you're a woman and you're watching this, you already know iron is definitely a good thing. We got green lentils and we got red lentils. Don't really know the difference, but <laughs> either way, they're lentils. And um, this brand, 365 from Whole Foods, it's like their signature brand, I noticed. It's almost like great value at Walmart. It's like they're, they're reasonably priced items because if you guys have been to Whole Foods, you know they can get really pricey because it's all natural and organic. So yeah, at least stick to the 365. I've been really happy. I bought a lot of different things from this brand and it seems to just be healthier and at a really just affordable price. So yes, excellent source of fiber, iron, potassium. We're gonna make some lentil soup. And from that same brand, we are going to make split pea soup too. Uh, um, high protein diet guys, that's what I'm all about right now. And only a half a cup of these is 12 grams of protein, so. Um, so the next thing we've got, actually, James picked this out. He, um, this will be kind of like our cheat meal, even though these really aren't bad at all. Shoestring french fries from 365. Yeah, so they're organic, no salt added, which is very hard to find. I noticed that a lot of these um, pre-packaged, frozen, already cut, types of potatoes. I noticed they're just jam-packed with sodium and I'm trying to, you know, you don't wanna, I don't wanna gain too much water weight. So I'm trying to lean out. So uh, yeah, these are just, <laughs> there's nothing really to it. Just organic potatoes, a little bit of canola oil. And they actually, this is interesting. They add organic apple juice concentrate to promote browning. Okay. I needed something for like granola and I came across from, it's called the Granola Factory, cool. And it, it said it's locally made. It was on like this big display in Whole Foods. And I got the cherry almond flavor. They have a bunch of different flavors. It's, it's sweetened with honey, tart cherries, almonds, flax, quinoa, almond extract, and a little bit of salt. So I love it as a topping. So I'm really excited to try this granola out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try right now. Curious as to what it tastes like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oops. Oh my god. Mmm! Okay, wow. That's better than I thought it would be. Next thing we got, you guys already know if you saw the Healthier Alternatives video. James and I are absolutely obsessed with the rice ramens. Yes, it's all organic, 100% brown rice, guys. I'm looking to get those gains, okay? And I'll tell you, you need two main things. <laughs> you need protein and you need a lot, a lot, a lot of complex carbs. So. This is going to be my post-workout. It's It's been for a while now. We got 11 of these. They were on sale. Two dollars off. So I was like, I'm stocking up. Okay, guys. Um, Then the next thing we got are avocados because I'm obsessed with avocados. I eat them whole. <laughs> I'll just eat them as is with a spoon and maybe light salt. But yeah, I um, actually really do love avocado toast and avocado with egg. I spread it on like it's butter, but you need those healthy fats. So that's where avocados come in hand. We also really love to make guacamole. So now that we got those tomatoes, I'm gonna be dicing up some tomatoes and putting it in and making it a sick guacamole. And I'm gonna be using these brown rice crackers. It's gonna be real good. I am a chocolate lover, chocolate fiend. I crave it every single day. But I found healthy chocolate chips. Now, last video I was using a whole chocolate bar and breaking it up, which works well. And um, it was 100% cocoa. So for those of you who don't know, 100% is super bitter. And it worked, but I wanna go back to some sweetness right now. And this one's made with just cane sugar. So it's healthier sugar. This one's actually, they have different percentages, but this one is 67% cocoa. So it's mostly unsweetened cocoa. But the other was at 23% would be added cane sugar. I use this to sprinkle into like my protein pancakes 
or lately I've been using it to sprinkle onto like a frozen banana that I just mash up and it tastes like banana frozen yogurt. So if you like bananas, that'd be really good. If you don't, then you're not gonna like that. Next thing we got here, actually we might be trying this in our brown rice pasta. We got a lemongrass basil simmer sauce. And this we've tried before and we're obsessed with it, so we bought it again. We got two packets of these and um, it tastes really good with shrimp, so we did buy shrimp. So we're gonna have that a stir fry with the brown rice pasta with a nice uh, lemon basil sauce. It's phenomenal and super, super clean. We did get some tea. We got 100% organic oolong tea and it's really good in aiding digestion. So we like to drink this while we're eating help everything flow real nice. That's it, that is it. And I'm actually starving, so I'm gonna go make some of this brown rice right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every single week. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much. And for those of you who are regulars on my channel, I can't thank you enough. You are a part of the fam. From the heart, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.